Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout and be entered into the month-long giveaways, culminating into a Black Lotus and 1st edition Charizard. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Jeskai Colored Curses deck featuring two copies of Triskai Decafile, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. The two mana alternate wing condition from Midnight Hunt is a 1-3 human wizard, saying we have no maximum hand size, and at the beginning of our upkeep, if we have exactly 13 cards in our hand, we win the game. And since today we're the 13th, I'm gonna try to do this card justice and use it as my main wing condition. We can also count on the 4 mana activated ability to draw a card, but that's usually a pretty slow way to go about it, so instead we're gonna rely on Curse of Surveillance to do most of the card drawing, and as we've discovered in our recent Curses video, Curse of Surveillance can get out of hand very quickly. The 5 mana enchantment Aura Curse will enchant our opponent, and at the beginning of their upkeep we get to draw a card for each curse attached to our opponent. So with a Curse of Surveillance out we get to draw an extra card each turn, but as soon as we get multiple curses out, especially multiple copies of Curse of Surveillance, we'll quickly get to a point where we're gonna decline to draw extra cards as we risk decking, which is exactly where we want to be when trying to win with Triskai Decafile. And then to complement Curse of Surveillance, we have 8 other curses in the deck, which are mostly here to power up Curse of Surveillance, so it doesn't matter too much what other text they have, but in the case of Curse of Shaken Faith, if the opponent casts a spell other than the first one each turn, they will take 2 damage, and then Curse of Silence as it enters the battlefield allows us to choose a card name, and then the opponent will have to pay 2 additional mana to cast spells with a chosen name, so this is a great way for us to feel like a genius if we can name the right card, and if the opponent does eventually cast the card with a chosen name, we can also sacrifice Curse of Silence to draw a card, although we're usually going to keep it around to power up our Curse of Surveillance, and then we could technically also use this as a very awkward cantrip if we enchant ourselves and then cast a spell with a chosen name, which of course we can name something we already have in hand, but it's usually gonna just stick around, potentially slow down counter spells or removal spells to make sure we can resolve our curse of surveillance and to make it more difficult for the opponent to kill our eventual win condition. And speaking of win conditions, getting to a point where we play Triskai Decafile with 13 cards in hand still runs into the problem of our opponent just killing our 2-mana creature, and then it's all for nothing. So that's why we also have two copies of Alrun's Epiphany, that way we can slowly build up our mana, and at some point after foretelling Epiphany, we can cast it for 6 mana to take an extra turn, make 2 bird tokens, and then also play the Triskai Decafile in the same turn, we untap, goes to our upkeep, and we win the game with our alternate win condition. Hopefully the opponent is tapped out in the meantime, so they can't play any instance to remove our win condition. So that's the plan, and to make sure we get to that point, we're gonna need a little bit of interaction, which is why we have the full playset of Doomscar as a sweeper we can also foretell. And foretelling cards can be useful to get cards out of our hands after drawing too many with our Curse of Surveillance, that way we can go back down to 13 cards in hand to win the game with Triskai Decafile. And then we've got two more sweepers with Burn Down the House, dealing 5 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Can also make 3 1 1 devils that deal 1 damage to any target when they die. Can also be an alternate win condition in case Triskai Decafile doesn't pan out. And then at 3 mana, we've got a bit more removal with the Demon Bolt. Can also be foretold and then cast for a single red, dealing 4 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Gives us a bit of spot removal as opposed to always needing sweepers. Then Skyclave Relic gives us a bit of ramp, can play it on turn 3 to ramp into our various 5 drops on turn 4. Can also kick it for 3 additional mana, which happens quite frequently once we start drawing a lot of cards with our Curse of Surveillance. Can make it easier to set up that turn where we cast Epiphany plus our Triskai Decafile in the same turn, as we'll get to make 2 tokens of Skyclave Relic that enter battlefield tapped. The 3 mana indestructible artifact taps for 1 mana of any color. Then we've got a full playset of Moonblast Cleric, a 3-2 creature that when it enters lets us search our library for an enchantment, reveal it and put it on top of our deck. So that's a great way to find our Curse of Surveillance if we don't have one already, and then can later fetch up some of the cheaper curses to power up Curse of Surveillance, and can even search up our two copies of a wizard class. 
A one-man enchantment has a passive ability on level 1, saying we have no maximum hand size, which is very useful when we're drawing cards with Curse of Surveillance, since we don't necessarily want to run out our Triskaia Deca file right away and have it removed by the opponent, since we often want to wait to set up the win with our Alrun's Epiphany, so in the meantime we'll have Wizard Class, which allows us to keep all those cards in hand, can level it to level 2 for 3 mana, drawing 2 cards, and at level 3, whenever we draw a card, we can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature we control, so that also ties into our alternate win condition in case the opponent removes our Triskai Deca file, as we can start putting tons of counters on our various tokens from Burn Down the House, maybe our bird tokens from Alrun's Epiphany, and our Moonblessed Cleric as well. And then finally, two copies of Portable Hole as another cheap removal spell, exiling target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana value 2 or less. And then the mana base is mostly red-white and then splashing a little bit of blue. So we've got four basic planes, four basic mountains, four copies of Deserted Beach as the new dual land for Midnight Hunt, then all 12 pathways in the Jeskai Colors, and two copies of the red-white Snarl as well. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw. No Curse of Surveillance or way to find it means I'm gonna mulligan. This is better. And then Epiphany's nice, but not a priority right now. So turn 2 for Tal Doomscar. Maybe turn 3 Relic into Curse. Opponent on a black-white life gain deck from the looks of it. So we'll see if we want to play Curse or prioritize for telling Doomscar. Cleric of Life spawns. Can apply a lot of pressure, so I think it's time for Doomscar. Another Cleric class. And a Dawnbringer Cleric. Actually would have been an answer to my enchantments, so... Glad I didn't play the curse. So, not sure yet if I want to pull the trigger on Doomscar, since it's my only removal spell at the moment. So instead, I'm leaning play Relic, and then if they add more to the boards, I'll wipe it away. If not, I can potentially afford to play Curse of Surveillance. This is also better if I have Shaken Faith in play already, so even if they answer it, I at least get to draw a few cards in the process. Opponent foretells their own card. So yeah, I think it's reasonable to play Curse of Surveillance here. And then take another 4 or 5 damage. Alright, opponent foretelling another card. Portable Hole could answer the Cleric or the Cleric class. And a Vengeful Reaper, that's fine. So next turn, Doomscar plus Shaken Faith. And then, let's see here. They're both level 1. Yeah, I guess I'll wait on the portable hole until they level up Cleric class a little bit more. Impassioned Orator. So I'm liking my position. Six life is a little bit precarious. And then a Moonblast Cleric could find an extra Curse of Surveillance, perhaps. So I could play Kick to Relic. Is also an option. Although getting this as a blocker kind of does double duty. So play Cleric, get an extra Curse of Surveillance in case they answer the first one. And then I can foretell a Demon Bolt and have that available. Alright, let's pass it back. Perfect. 
So we're about to take over the game here. And then do I want a Demon Bolt Orator? Not really. So we want a Curse, Curse, Portable Hole. And get to level 2 1. And then we get to draw a lot of cards. The next Moonblast Cleric might get my Wizard class, so I don't have to discard to hand size. Alright, gonna take a bit of damage from Blight Priest. Okay, so a lot of options available. Part of the plan, I think, is gonna be Cleric to find Wizard class. I might end up just Demon Bolting the Priest instead of wiping the board. Um, although, yeah, I guess I can afford to Doomscar. Maybe attack first. And if they trade, I can just Demon Bolt instead. Our opponent probably knows what's incoming. And then... Play Cleric. Search of Wizard class. And then, see, eight cards in hand. Safest would be to hold up Demon Bolt. Although... Even a hasty Vengeful Reaper is probably not a concern. And then here, what do I name? Maybe Righteous Valkyrie. Could name one of the removal spells. But Righteous Valkyrie is definitely in their deck. Alright, so I've got 23 cards in hand, still missing Triskai Deca file, but I've got everything else I need. Alrighty, so I guess we'll start foretelling. Play Wizard class. Not sure what else to name with Curse. Maybe... I could go for one of the removal spells, Poison Cup, given that they haven't cast their Foretold card yet. And then I have to watch out that I don't draw too many cards, but seems fine. And I guess I can start attacking too. Alright, so... How many curses do we control? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, sure. Let's make sure we find the Triskai Deca file here. Could play it slow in order to kind of spread out my triggers. Maybe get a level three wizard class so I can get counters out of my extra draw steps. But I'm a bit in a hurry to just find the Triskai Deca file since everything is in place to win the game with it. Alright, so eight cards remain. That's plenty enough. And then 25 cards in hand, so I will have to empty out. Cleric of Life's Bond gets a few counters. So that we can Demon Bolts. Play Kicked Relic. Play a couple Curses. Naming all sorts of removal spells, maybe Poison the Cup once again. I could name Vanishing Verse.
21 cards in hand, so still a little bit to go. Celebrant's fine. Alright, so which of these is level 3? Probably want to get to level 1. Cleric class. Which they can still level up. And then... Let's see, I could burn down the house. Eighteen cards left, so we're getting there. And play cleric. Don't need to search anything. Sixteen cards left. All right, so next turn we should be able to set up the win. Just gotta hope they tap out. So it's definitely possible I might have drawn a few too many cards and I could have taken a slower approach. As we see, Poison the Cup with Double Curse of Silence. So we got the right name. But now our opponent's fully tapped out. So yeah. Curse of uh, Silence can make you feel like a genius, and after all, isn't that one of the main reasons to play Magic? So 16 cards left. So let's start by taking extra turn. So I need to play three cards out. One, two, and three. And pass a turn. Alright, there we go. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a beautiful opening hand. Missing a bit of interaction, but triple curse and a good mana base. In a weird way, it would be more useful to have the uh, Curse of Shaken Faith cost 1 mana and Curse of Silence 2 mana. Because that would help out with the sequencing, knowing what to name. But uh, I guess we can foretell a Demon Bolt for now. And then next turn, Double Curse. Put on Black Red. I'll go with Goldspan Dragon then. Don't want to play Cleric until we draw land 5. Alright, there we go. So now I can play Cleric, searching Curse of Surveillance. Just to have a backup. Although Black Rat shouldn't have any ways of dealing with my enchantment. Maybe a Feed the Swarm, but not a card you see very often. So no pressure yet, but a Predator. We can Demon Bolt before they can make it indestructible. I get to draw three. And next, Moonblast Cleric looking for Wizard class. So kind of a perfect start for us. We've got control of the game with our card draw engine, still at 20 life. Not in any danger of dying. And draw eight cards on turn six. And there's my Triskaideka file and Epiphany, so all according to plan. Eleven cards in hand. Alrighty, so sequencing. 
Probably want to get some extra mana going with Kicked Relic. And then I can still foretell Epiphany. And then I'll have to discard to hand size a little bit. Discard some lands, I guess. Alright, so how many curses do I have? Four curses. I have seven cards in hand. So I guess I'll draw eight. And then next turn, play Lance, play Triska Decafile, play Epiphany. Would be game if they're tapped out. If they're not tapped out, we can maybe go for Curse of Silence, but don't think that's going to be necessary here. I guess I still need to play one extra card out, because we of course draw a card for turn. So Curse of Silence, naming Wishcoin Crab. Play Epiphany. And untap, and win the game. Simple as that. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. I'll need to pick up a land or two to make sure I can cast Cleric, and then cast the Curse of Surveillance we find with it. For now, Fortal Doomscar, not in a hurry to play Curse of Shaken Faith. Put in blue green, a ramp. Okay. And then I guess we'll play Shaken Faith. And wait on the cleric again until land five. If they play Quandrix Cultivator, I'll probably have to pull the trigger on Doomscar. Alright, I'll take a relic. So now I feel comfortable playing out Moonblast Cleric. A Shia. Alright. Well, do I wipe the board or do I play Curse first? I could even burn down the house, which will kill the land and then kill a Shia. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Doomscar is going to be effective later, too. Burkstrider. That's fine. And then Color doesn't matter too much. So I get to draw two. And then Moonblast Cleric can go for another Curse of Surveillance, or I can get some cheaper ones. Curse of Silence, potentially naming something like Coma, Cosmo Serpents. Alright, there's my Curse of Silence. So I can wipe the boards. Play Cleric for another Curse of Surveillance. And play Curse of Silence, naming Coma seems fine. And something that's difficult for us to remove, as they can make it indestructible in response to a Doomscar. Spirit of an Elder Guard is pretty decent here. No Faceless Haven to search up, just a forest. And a Blizzard Brawl. Portable hole, not quite an answer here. And then... Probably no need to get a third Curse of Surveillance. Let's get Wizard Class as a way to... Not have to worry about discarding to hand size. Demon Bolt, perfect answer. Alright, so I'm liking my position. Okay. 
So we can foretell a bunch of cards. Probably fine to Demon Bolt main phase. And look for our Triskai Deca file. 15 cards in hand. What to name with Curse of Silence numbers 2 and 3. Could still name Coma to make it cost even more. Sure. Could name Alrun's Epiphany. It only affects the opponents, so it's not symmetrical. And then I could also draw with the wizard class here to dig a little bit deeper. Or maybe play a curse. Alright, and then pass it back. And then maybe only draw with one of the two. Still nothing can use wizard class level 2 for a bit more accuracy. So let's Doomscar first. Another Epiphany. And uh, let's see. 13 cards left. Would like to play Relic Kicked. So I don't know if I can afford to draw too much more with Wizard class since we're getting close to decking. So I think I'll just pass. And then submit zero. And give myself more time to naturally draw Triska Deca file. Can still level up the other copy of Wizard class. And then Epiphany can also give me an extra draw step. Currently 16 cards in hand. So if we draw a Triskaideka file here, we should be able to set up the win. So, level up. Still nothing. In that case, I might have to prepare for an alternate game plan of potentially winning with the tokens from Burn Down the House. And then I can pass it back. Spirit of the Elder Guards, fine. Maybe play Kicked Relic. And then do I feel the need to wipe the board, or do I just go for Epiphany? I guess I'll go for Epiphany. Still nothing. Can uh, level up Wizard class a little bit more. Fifteen cards in hand. Yeah, I guess we'll Epiphany again. Can send in the birds. All 
All right, there we go. Now, sadly, we'll have to let the opponent get an extra turn here to potentially answer Triskaidekaphile. file. But we're getting down to 13 cards in hand. So... Don't think anything too bad can happen. And then I'll just leave the birds back. Alright, let's see if our opponent can kill the Triskaideka file. Possible I should have just cast Doomscar to prevent another fight spell. But if they go for the fights, I'll kill them with the birds. Happy to chum block or trade. And more bubble snares. Opponents can end up losing to the curse. Is our opponent gonna go out on their own terms? That they are. Alright, GG's. Well, I tried my best to win with uh, Triskaideka file here, but our opponent had other plans. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a nice opening hand. All three curses. And a demon bolt for a bit of interaction. Now, I'm not sure what to name with Curse of Silence yet. So I might hold out on Curse of Silence for a turn or two. Cleric class. So some sort of life gain deck. In which case I might want to name like Borrowed Time as a potential answer for Curse of Surveillance. That seems fine, although to be mine efficient, I'll uh, foretell Demon Bolts. And then next turn maybe double curse. Right, opponent is black-white. Foretold the card might be their own Doomscar. So... Yeah, I think I still want to name a potential answer for my enchantment, which could also be Vanishing Verse. which is probably more likely than Borrowed Time. Priest of Ancient Lore is fine. And then next turn we're scheduled to play Curse of Surveillance. I'll play a Cleric since we already have Land 5 to get a backup copy in case they answer the first one. So now they know what we're up to. Can still Demon Bolt if needed. Maybe kill a Righteous Valkyrie. Another cleric class. And a card foretold. I'll trade. And then I guess double blue could be useful if we find wizard class. So I get to draw three right away. So even if they remove curse of surveillance, we got a bit of value. And we've got a backup in hand. So our plan is working out nicely. I guess one of these could also be Starnheim Unleashed, but just need to find the Doomscar, which we already have as an answer. So let's curse again. Keep up Demon Bolts. And there's my Wizard class, so I don't have to worry about discarding to hand size while we set up our alternate win condition. If I find another Curse of Silence, I could also name Poison the Cup as something that could answer my uh, win condition at instant speed. But we're very close to setting up the win here. So currently I have 10 cards in hand. This is kind of the useful way to check cards in hand with a little symbol. So Epiphany can be foretold. And... I guess Doomscar. And play another curse. So now we have 17 cards in hand. And 
We're close to setting up the Epiphany turn. So, if I play a land down to 17, play Triska Decafile, I have still a few too many cards in hand, so let's address that. Portable Hole can deal with Cleric Class. They're both level 2. This would be a nice spot to find Skyclave Relic to give me more mana, to help me empty my hand faster. And then... Don't think I'm worried about anything that blows up all no land permanents, like maybe uh, Blood Out to Sky. Although I guess I could name Blood Out to Sky just in case. Otherwise, I would be naming Poison the Cup. And then. Let's see how many cards in hand now. 13? Alright, let's pass. And then submit zero, since I don't need to draw any extra cards. Release us fine. So our opponent appears to be tapped out. 14 cards in hand. 13 cards in hand. Win the game. Alright, sweet. Let's take a look at the foretold cards. Is a Doom Scar Poison Cup Starnheim Unleashed? Double Starnheim Unleashed and a Skull Raid. Actually could have disrupted the alternate win by a little bit, but uh, yeah, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a decent hand. And no Curse of Surveillance, but lots of interaction, plus a Wizard class which can eventually draw to. I'll go with Demon Bolt over Doomscar for now. And there's my Curse of Surveillance, so just need to hit my land drops now. We're playing 26 lands with two Skyclave Relics to make sure we can keep hitting our land drops. A Bloodline Pretender. Not sure what tribe they're playing. Constructs. Okay. So... Curse of Silence. What kind of constructs am I expecting here? I'm not sure. Maybe a Myriad Constructs. And then... I'll foretell a Doomscar, I guess. Keep up Demon Bolts. Strixhaven Stadium. Alright, so maybe it's not entirely focused on Constructs. Sure, I'll Demon Bolt. And it's time for Surveillance. And then Moonblast Cleric. Maybe getting another Curse of Surveillance. Or I can draw one. Okay, so everything is in place. Forsaken Monuments. That's a good one. Alright, we can start brainstorming on what to name with the other Curse of Silence here. Pretender, is it still naming Construct? It is. Can't think of too many other Constructs, and yeah, there's the Myriad Construct, so we got it right. Okay, 
Okay, so let's Doomscar. And then play some more curses out. Naming Myriad Construct once again. Bloodline Pretender. And I'll draw with one of the two curses. Let's not overdo it. Alright, so 13 cards in hand, got an Epiphany. Seems fine. Cosmos Elixir is a good one too. Also would have been a good name with Curse of Silence. But in order to win with Stadium, they actually need a creature that deals damage to me, so I'm not too concerned about it. That can also make some chum blockers. And I guess this can start pressuring their life total a little bit. And then the next Curse of Silence, I guess, could name Cosmos Elixir. Okay. The reason not to draw with all the curses at once is that I give myself more time to potentially adjust my game plan in case they can deal with the Triskaideka file. And I can maybe also leverage Wizard class to get counters on my creatures. Bonus got their own Doomscar, makes sense. They don't seem a very focused creature deck, they've got more long-term game plans. And uh... Yeah, let's see here. Could... Play Kicked Skyclave Relic. Maybe level up Wizard class to level 3. To start putting counters on Burn Down the House tokens. That's an option. For now, just for Tall Doomscar. Fifteen cards in hands. I guess I could draw. Or I could wait until next turn. Until after I make some more creatures. I want you to witness the machine gun counters from Wizard class with a Curse of Surveillance in play. That's an expensive pretender. Could also sacrifice a curse just to get one extra draw. Alrighty, so I guess we'll pull the trigger on Doomscar. And burn down the house. And curse naming Doomscar. Luckily no Ugin Spirit Dragon to be worried about. Our curse layout is aesthetically pleasing. And then now I'll target myself once. Alright, there's our Triskaideka file, there's my wizard class triggers. Alright, not quite the machine gun since my opponent was holding priority. But uh, still pretty good. Could see another Doomscar regardless. 
kicked Construct instead. Pretty large. Alright, so... 22 cards in hand. How do we win the game here? I have an Epiphany. So if I Epiphany for 6... Then I could play Kicked Skyclave Relic. But I only have the one Epiphany. So I can't necessarily chain together Epiphanies. So... I guess I just wait another turn to set it up. And then... Probably... Want to wipe the board to be safe. can still play a cleric out as a distraction. Alright. So 19 cards in hand. Not in any danger of dying. And then next turn I think I'll be able to figure out a way to set up the win with Epiphany. Not expecting any instant speeds interaction. A wandering archaic. That's fine. And a mask with Nexus. Okay. So I think I'm out of Doom Scars. Yeah, I'm not sure how the Epiphany extra turns are gonna work out with archaic in play. So maybe I can avoid that situation altogether. Let's say I attack with Moonblast Cleric, they can block with Archaic. And then I can finish it off. Right, opponent jumps instead. In that case... I could burn down the house. Demon Bolt, but that's 8 mana gone. Minus 2 cards. Yeah, I'm gonna struggle to win the game that way. So... Yeah, I guess I'll avoid that situation altogether. And then wait another turn to set that up. And then I guess give them another Moonblast Cleric as distraction. And, uh, I guess play another one, sure. Fifteen cards in hand, so it should be easy to get down to thirteen next turn. Kick Myriad Constructs. Attack with the team. So now I can Demon Bolt without any issues. Opponent could copy it, target their own construct to make a bunch of 1-1s to try and win with the stadium, but I guess not. And then... I've got 16 cards in hand. So let's try to empty our hand here. Can play a couple portable holes with no targets. 14. 13. Extra turn. 
And pass it back. Alright, so took a little bit of finagling here in the end to get the alternate win set up with our Triskai Deca file, but we got there in the end, which is what matters, even though I'm sure there were author lines available that could have gotten there sooner. So overall, quite pleased with how the deck turned out. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for ladder play, since the games take forever to complete, but the deck is certainly capable of winning, as long as you can take hold of the game with your uh, card draw engines and removal spells. It's got all the answers against most popular decks, even though I guess like the combo matchups against other Epiphany decks could be quite rough, since the opponent can potentially combo off and kill you in one turn before you get to untap and play Sweeper. That's where a card like Cinderclasm could be helpful as an instant speed sweeper, but that also requires a lot of red mana and keeping up all that mana in the opponent's turn, which is a little bit tricky. So counter spells can be rough. A very aggressive decks that can sneak underneath our sweepers can also be difficult. So by no means a perfect strategy, but if you're looking to get that alternate win condition achievement with Triskai Deca file, this is one of the better ways to do it. And as the Curse of the 13th takes hold of my voice, I'm gonna let you go here. But for now, I wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. Thank you.